Good morning, this is Mr. Deutsch, and I wanted to give you a brief introduction to the class, especially because of a software that we're going to be using in this course that is different than any other course you've taken so far. So when you log into the course and you click on Meet Your Instructor, you can see my contact information. This is a welcome video that you can watch when you click there. Um, this is my phone number and email and I do the live lectures on Mondays at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then you just kind of go through here and read uh, the course description, uh, some tips, and then some important contact information at the main campus. So when you click on home page, be sure to look for any new announcements as they come in throughout the week each week. And so especially this first week of class, there's going to be several announcements that you want to make sure that you read carefully. That would answer a lot of questions that you might have about the class. When you click on syllabus, you can actually download the syllabus for the course so that you'll have all of the reading assignments and other items that you're going to be working on. So it's always handy to have that. Then you have other tabs for some student resources and some program resources. When it comes time for the Kaiser Live session, you just click on Kaiser Live and you will see a link here for the current week. It will say week one, week two, week three and you'll click into that and you'll be able to get in there about 15 minutes before it starts. Under the Start Here button, you're going to find some more information that you want to review early on. Um, here is the certification that you've already done in other courses, so it's the same procedure in this course. Uh, you've got some resources down here about the medical assisting program, APA and references, and required certifications for your clinical procedures and laboratory procedures. So make sure you, you start working on those also because those classes are coming up. So when we go into week one, I want to show you something that you haven't quite seen already. You're going to see some familiar items uh, such as the class introduction, the pretest, and the reading assignment. But we are using a online software that comes with our book and it's called MindTap. And so MindTap is going to take you through a lesson. It's interactive. You'll be able to uh, practice some skills, sort of like an online simulator. We are covering four different chapters in MindTap. And so the chapters and the topics are going to be similar to some of your reading assignment listed here, but some of them are not going to match up with this reading assignment. There's more reading to do in these chapters in MindTap. So this first tab here just kind of gives you an overview of the chapters and topics that are going to be covered in MindTap. This is where you're going to click to access MindTap for the first time. And you're going to register for the MindTap course, which I've already set up. Once you do that, you're logged in and you don't have to log in anymore throughout the course. You won't have to enter a username and password every time um, you get ready to log in. So you'll go there first to do the initial login procedure. If you have any type of problems with uh, MindTap, this is the technical support number for MindTap. So make sure you, you keep that handy as well. And then to make it a little bit easier for you, some of the MindTap exercises are graded. 
and those grades will be transferring to our gradebook here in Blackboard. And so when you're ready to take one of those assessments, you can go into this folder, Week 1 Grade and Mind Tap Assignments. And there is a link for each assessment. Uh, there's usually a short 10 or 12 question review quiz. And then the Learning Lab is more of a hands-on activity. You'll watch a video, you'll answer some questions, you may practice a skill as you move along. So for the graded items this week, I have direct links for each one of those. When you're ready to do a certain assessment, a certain quiz or hands-on activity, you can just go to that specific one by chapter and it will take you right to that. So if you have any questions with the course or with MindTap, uh, feel free to email me or call me and let me know. And good luck.